What's up everybody, it's Chu Flocka back at it again with another Madden gameplay. Today we actually have the brand new 93 overall out of position wide receiver, Adoree Jackson. This is one that I remember watching him in college at USC. He was insane. I really thought he was going to be a top tier player inside of the NFL. He's still a very good player, but I thought he was going to be dominant, kind of like how Jair Alexander came in the league. But you still, he has still a lot of time, he's still young. But anyways, let's jump right into the car and let's check out his stats. Looking at his stats, he actually looks really good. As you can see, a 96 speed. He does have a 94 base speed. And also a 92 jump, 91 catching. The catching traffic is not that good, but he is out of position. And that is to be expected. Spec catch, still a little low. With deep, uh, with a go deep, it gets up to an 89. I don't, I have, uh... One tier below the main one. I have 45 go deep. But anyways, as you can see, we have 97 deep route running. This guy is going to be deadly when it comes to post, an S route, anything down in the field. So let's get into a gameplay and let's see if we can get this guy going. So a lot of these games, we're actually going to be doing a lot of offensive possessions out of the house rules. So we can get more highlights for the actual card we're trying to focus on. We have two videos coming out today. We have the one on DeAndre Swift coming out later. This will, this will probably be out by the time you see the DeAndre Swift one as well. So go check that one out as well. But anyways, let's head into the game. All right, so he did score on us on the first possession of the game. So let's see if we can do anything ourselves here. We do have that big S route playing up top. And it looks like a Dory Jackson on the first play of the game on offense. He's going to be torching. I think that's Legereus need. Yes, it is for a wide open touchdown. As you can see, the deep route running was insane there. And I'm not going to complain. He did just torch one of the fastest corners in the game. So let's see if we can hit him on a slant now or anything. Like I said, this is going to be really fast-paced drives because it's not a full game because we're doing house rules. But this way, we can get a lot more plays. As you can see, he actually makes a catch in traffic right there when the dude is... It was Dion all over his back, wide open catch. It was... That was... That is something I thought would be a problem with him where he would drop something like that. But anyways, let's head into the next possession. I want to see if I could target him a little bit over the middle of the field and try to get him running with the ball, see if we can get some jukes or anything with him. We actually intercepted the ball from him again this play. So let's see if we can get him going in any other play, maybe another post over the middle. Like I said, I really want to get him the ball in the open field, see if we can get him going on a huge play. Like we already did in the first play. But I want to see if we can get him going. Maybe on a drag or something. As we catch him on the D-line. He's going to be wide open there. Torching man coverage again on LeJarius Sneed. I know LeJarius Sneed is kind of an older corner. But he did bring him out in the field. And that is what's costing him right now. As you can see, Adoree Jackson is playing actually really good. I didn't expect this card to be winning on a lot of those routes. Because that is considered a medium route if I'm not mistaken. We're going to do this and this. So let's see if we can get him on a slant. Maybe wide open. If he's running man again, which he is. So we'll see if we can get... We're going to throw a low pass right here. And he's going to catch another ball close combat. This guy is looking very good. Like I said, he is... I didn't expect him to be this good. Like I told you guys, I expected him to be one of those... Another one of those out of position budget guys. Kind of how we do with LT. Like a lot of people are going to have a Dory because he's going to be really free on their team. Because all you have to do is have chill factor 10. But as you can see, we're going to have a wide open touchdown over the middle. Another contested catch. That is three catches in a row from him that have been contested. Including that two-point conversion from last drive. But as you guys can see, he is looking great right now. Like Kind of like a top-tier receiver. He isn't playing the best of corners. He's playing Dion right now. So, I mean, it hasn't been the best. As you can see, just completely torched again. But he does not catch that one. I don't know. That one, would, if he would have caught that one, if he would have caught four in a row, that would have been insane. But anyways, we're going to keep continuing to feed him if we can get the ball again before this guy quits anyways let's head into the defense we do get another interception there it looks like this guy is going to quit so the first game was an easy dub drove down the field every single drive and had a touchdown with the dory jackson but anyways we're going to try to get at least two more games and see if we can get another dub with this adori we already have two touchdowns with him a two-point conversion a couple plays down the span too not too bad at all i'm actually really liking this card so far let's head into the next two so in the second game, I'm actually going to get the ball first. So let's see if we can get anything going on this first drive. I'm going to try to hit him on a post over the middle again. Like I said, sometimes you can catch the ball in the open field and make, sometimes make the guy miss. I really want to see this Adore in the open field. And it sucks that I can't put him at returner because that is something that I actually 
remember watching him in college, but he cannot get returner because of the kickoffs being taken away in Madden at the moment, which really does suck. As we're going to hit him right over the middle, he makes a diving catch for the ground. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, I'm not even being biased right now. He is actually looking really good. Like, this is actually a really good gameplay. I'm having a lot of fun with him as well. Like, he's playing really good. All right, let's see if we can get anything going now. I want to hit him over this middle, but I think he's running cover four, so this might be a very small play type of game. Yeah, as you can see, he's playing very far underneath. I have A wide open, but I have to give it a second because you guys know how the game is. That's always a bad throw. But it looks like we're going to be in the 17. I'm hoping he's starting to realize that cover four is probably one of the worst coverages. He's still in it. As you guys can see, he does not care. He is just clicking cover four every time. So let's see if we can get, hit him over the middle again for another post. It's looking like it's going to be a dot, and he hangs on after the hit. Another Adoree Jackson touchdown. I am in love with this card right now. As you guys can see, like, everybody gets a free 93 overall if you hit uh, Show Factor 10, which you can do that for free through challenges, through a couple sets, opening packs, daily objectives. Very, very easy. Not too bad at all. And he is so good. You guys can see, he's literally holding on to things. The only thing I had a problem with him, well, as we're going to throw to him again on the tubing conversion, the only thing I had a problem with him was the catch in traffic. But as you guys can see, he has made many of them in this video alone, which has been two house rules games, not even full games yet. But anyways, let's head into the next possession. So I actually intercepted the ball and then flipped it. And now it's a fourth and negative 19. I have no clue where the first down marker is at all. I, I genuinely have no clue what happened right now. This is the weirdest thing to happen, especially in a YouTube video, so I have no clue. So basically, we have to score a touchdown on this play, and I don't know if we could do that right now. As you guys can see, we're just going to be chucking it up to him over on the right side, and he actually gets wide open for a touchdown. This is a Dory, I'm telling you guys. That was insane. Like, I didn't even expect him to get it. We do score. We do end up winning the game. Another game won. Let's head into the final game and let's build on to this already great gameplay with him. So we are now in the third game. We actually just matched up with the same guy that just quit against us or we actually just beat. So let's see if he sees my name and then quits. I hope not because that was he ran cover three almost every single play or actually cover four. My mistake is if he's running cover four here again, I guess this is a beater and I did not know that. As you can see, it's wide open, but we actually get a hit while we throw. Adori was getting open there. I should have double teamed the end over there. But anyways, let's see if we can hop into another offensive possession and kill that cover four that he keeps coming out in. We actually get an interception on the first play right there. So let's see if we can run the same play again. I truly think that we can get a wide open touchdown. I am going to double team this guy on the end actually because I don't know if he's going to be rushing that outside linebacker. I can't tell as he's not. So it might be a wide open touchdown all the way to the corner over here. As you guys can see, it's going to be very close. And he drops the ball in coverage. That is a Kenny Vaccaro. I am playing a Saints theme team. But as you guys can see, it's getting open kind of. As you guys can see, his like deep out running is insane. Like He's actually a really good player. We're going to see if we can hit him on a slant over here over the middle. Maybe a low pass right here. Wide open. Another great catch by him. He is just looking like a solid receiver. I really think that he could play with the top end corners and the top end team. He could be your third guy behind like a Dion, a Tyreek, or if you're going with a Chad Ochocinco, if you want a route runner. This is actually a really, really good card, and I truly think a lot of people should have him if you can afford him or get him for free. Obviously, everyone will probably have this card. It's either him or the Lawrence, I mean the LT. But as you can see, he's wide open again, and he actually is going to complete it on the throw out of sack. He was wide open for a touchdown, but I keep forgetting to double-team that player. As you guys can see, he is literally dominating everybody he has in coverage. That is a Janoris Jenkins all the way in a Saints chem, getting torched by this card because he has a 97 deep route running. Can get up to a 98. I just don't have it full, but he's still insane. As you can see, he's not on the field here. We're actually going to call a timeout. We want him on the field. I think this is going to be a wide open touchdown if he's here. I don't know. It's like if, it's, if he comes out in man, I think he torches man. So I want him to come out, man. I really want to see if he can torch it on this post again. As he's going to actually be in, I don't know what he's in there. That's going to be a close pass, and we throw it into another pick right there. This game is going to be a long one. Let's see if we can end it with the next possession. We get another interception there after he toted for almost the whole third quarter. But let's see if we can torch this. I think he is in man here. It's going to be a wide open touchdown again for Adoree Jackson. 
it is honestly too easy. He is torching a full uh, Janoris. I forgot his name there for a second. He's torching a full Janoris Jenkins in a theme team. Literally in a theme team getting torched. If this doesn't show you how good this card is, then I don't know what will. As you can see, he's playing a zone, so that Ziggurat really wasn't the best call there. But we don't have anything there on the two-wing version. So... As you guys can see, we're probably going to end the video there because we're this guy is going to tote the whole ball away. But anyways, as you guys can see, I fully recommend this card. Everybody should have this card on their team if you can afford him. He is really that good. You can get him for free if you didn't pick the LaDainian Tomlinson already. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the DeAndre Swift video coming out a little bit after this one. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.